Hey everybody, uh, Tommy here. So I was planning on doing the journey exercise today, uh, but that didn't really pan out due to the fact that I don't have a cameraman today. So today I'm gonna change it up and go with just working on, uh, or just talking about the history uh, and origin of Kobido itself. Um, but before we get started, uh, make sure that after the video you uh, go down below, uh, like the video, it just kind of helps with the algorithm, helps me get more views. Same thing with sharing. If you guys can share this video on your other social media platforms, that would be greatly appreciated too. It just kind of gets this message out, out um, and gets the content out there. Also, uh, subscribe and click the bell icon for more immediate access to the content. Um, also, lastly, uh, go down below and comment what you what you just want to see in the future, or if you just want to add some something to what we talk about today, uh, just whatever you want to put down there. Um, so, what we're going to work on today is just the general history of Kobido. Uh, so, first off, Kobido means that uh, Kobido's meaning is. Old warrior way. Ko, old, boo, warrior, do, way. Ko, boo, do. Old warrior way. Uh, now, there are two conflicting, like, stories on the origins of Kobido. Um, I'll tell you guys the first one. Uh, it is believed that uh, it was started during the Edo period, during the Japanese occupation of Okinawa, uh, when the Japanese government illegalized the carrying practice and use of military weapons such as swords, daggers, spears, shields. When that was all illegalized, it forced the uh, the um, uh, people of Okinawa to defend themselves using just regular old farming implements. Uh, however... Uh, there is some arguments about that because there's no actual historical record supporting that theory. Uh, I can't say whether or not it's true. Uh, I wasn't there. Uh, but among scholars, uh, there's a different story, which is um, most historians believe that it was started by the Pachin warriors. I don't really know what that is other than it's just a military class in Okinawa. My understanding is it's very similar to the Japanese samurai. I don't know how true that is or how valid that is. Uh, and it was just less likely invented by the, the Haimin, which are the commoner class, as with the old narrative. Um, it was later uh, more popularized by the Aji, which is the noble class in Okinawa, uh, or at least in that time period. Uh, it was later globalized along with Japanese karate, uh, after World War II. Uh, the reason why this is believed, though, by uh, by scholars is because um, the similarities in Kobudo techniques with Chinese, Malaysian, and Indonesian techniques, uh, along with, you know, it being supported that it was started in Okinawa because there are techniques in the style that are exclusive to Okinawan karate. Um... So that's, that is the video. Uh, next time, uh, I'm going to work on the uh, journey uh, if I have access to the cameraman. Uh, and uh, if not, I'll, I'll do more specific, uh, a more specific video on the weapons themselves. I might do an overview of what weapons I use in my system. I might do a video on uh, the history of the bow staff. It's actually called the bow. My instructor would kill me if, if I used the word bow staff. Uh, but bow, it's bow. Uh, or staff, one of the two. Don't use both. Uh, so uh, just comment down below again uh, what you guys want to see. Uh, and uh, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stand by.